I'm here today to, to talk about our ELF. The ELF is just now shipping. You know, target markets, retail, and, and field force automation. Field force automation would typically be something <clears throat> outside the four walls. Big generic term could be field sales, field service. Uh, there's all kinds of terms that you'll hear, transportation or direct store delivery, just a big umbrella category, okay? Keep that in mind when you're thinking about, you know, who, who can I promote the ELF to? It's, it's mainly fuel force automation. Datalogic Mobile, I think, has done the best job of any mobile computer manufacturer of simplifying the sale of, of mobile computers. You can sell one part number and be selling a solution, okay? That's because we sell our products as kits to you. That one SKU, that one box, has everything that is essentially needed. It's the terminal, the battery, the power supply, the USB cable, and even some software that, uh, that really enables the device. So that's pretty cool. We, of course, have service contracts, uh, docks, and uh, other accessories that go along with it to, to help uh, adapt the device to the customer's needs. Here's an image of all the things that are included, and I think that really simplifies it. Have you ever shipped a product out the door and, and you're missing a cable or a power supply or a power cord or something that, you know, that the customer needs and they call back the next day, they're upset, and you have to overnight it, and you're not gonna have that problem with data logic, okay? It's just easy to sell the product. So I think that is something that is really appealing to you, and it's not only with the Elf, but also with our Pegaso and the Memor, where we really simplify it. So I think that's a, a great value to you. The specs are there, especially on that, that life-size paper doll cutout. I'm not gonna go into it in, in great detail, but just remember it is the latest and greatest of processor, operating system, all the things that your customer really expects. There is one thing, however, that I do want to point out, and that is the processor is unique because we feature a coprocessor. So it's basically a dual processor device. No one else is uh, doing that that I'm aware of at this point. I, I do a pretty good job, I think, of staying up to date with uh, competitors' devices. So what's really cool about this is we are able to dedicate the secondary processor to mission critical functions such as the barcode scanner and the wireless radio. And what that does is it allows your customers who's developing software to utilize more of the processor. It speeds up the performance and it keeps the device running at optimal speeds in mission critical environments. Folks, these devices go into environments where people need the thing to scan when they hit the button. They don't need any hesitation. Your, the cust your end users are in production environments. They're getting paid based on their production. This device in our test will perform scans and transmit radios faster than uh, any other device out there because of this feature. It's a cool feature, really helps, helps us stand out. Data capture is a big part of these devices. Of course, we have 1D and 2D scanners, okay? Both of them feature the green spot. Kirk featured that the green spot earlier in the presentation same dot that uh, gives you a good read confirmation. Sometimes customers are asking about RFID. Yes, we do RFID. It is the high frequency or HF version of RFID. And there is also a three megapixel camera. Of course, with any of these devices, radio technology is a big part of it. It's pretty much the latest and greatest in, in radio technology that you would expect also. Um, one thing I do, there's two things I actually want to mention. One is we do have GPS on this device. That's an important feature for all of your customers. And the cellular radio for those outside the four walls opportunities is a GSM radio, which means we're pretty much focused on AT&T. We can work with T-Mobile. We work better with AT&T, with the ELF is the QWERTY keypad. I think both devices that are being passed around today have the QWERTY keypad, so we've addressed that and people like it. It's, it's sort of like a BlackBerry. There is a numeric keypad, just want to point that out. So if your customers are looking for a, a cell phone style keypad, we can do that also with the ELF, okay? Um, I'm gonna skip through some of this just to respect your time. It is rugged. Customers are always wanting the most rugged devices out there. They beat the crap out of these devices. And guess what? The ELF 
is more rugged than most of the products that you're selling today in this category, okay? How does it compare to the MC75? It's got a one foot better drop spec and it's got a higher IP rating. Um, it's more rugged than MC55 and, and so on and so forth. Um, so it, you know, when customers are, are looking for a device of this caliber, they're gonna get more bang for the buck and better performance from DataLogic. So I consider this a, a, a PDA style device as compared to a Falcon, which is a, a pistol grip, a much larger form factor type device. And, and, and with a pistol grip, like a Falcon, you're doing a lot of scanning with a trigger, typically. And, and a lot of customers really aren't paying much attention to anything else. They're just scanning and waiting for a beep. Compare that to a PDA style device, like the ELF, customers are, are, a lot of their time is spent around the display. So DataLogic, when developing this product, was very uh, focused on the user experience with the display and the keypad, okay? So what have we done with this device? Well, we gave it a very bright display. We knew customers would be, would be in direct sunlight and they've got to be able to see the display and there has to be good color contrast as well. So compare that to uh, some of the other devices that are, really, um, that are really popular. We get a lot of negative feedback about the Motorola devices. Customers can't see them, they're not very bright, the display's not very bright, it just has a, a dull look in direct sunlight. So we have better performance in those direct sunlight conditions. It's uh, a three and a half inch display, which is today pretty standard, uh, but it does allow you with the Windows Mobile 6.5 operating system to give you, uh, you can actually use the display with your, with your finger, sort of like an iPhone. In previous generations of the Microsoft operating system, you had to use a stylus and it was difficult to navigate. So your customers now have the ability with the ELF to develop applications that are easier to use. And that's, that's really important for the way applications are being developed for today's customers. Last thing on this slide is the accelerometer. A lot of people with smartphones today will turn the, the phone sideways and, and browse the web or uh, interface with certain applications in, in different ways. You have that capability. Your customers can develop software with this capability. So for example, if, uh, if I'm a direct store delivery person or, or some sort of courier, I can present this to you and ask you to sign a signature like this. It'll flip the display upside down or maybe it's easier to sign, sign the display sideways for signature capture. So uh, we're one of the first to offer the accelerometer. Very, very cool cutting edge feature for your software developers. So a, a big part of selling any sort of mobile solution is what kind of accessories your customer needs, okay? I'm sure you sell lots of accessories today, and, and we offer a wide range today. This is what uh, is capable, or, or what we're providing today, and there's more in development, so we will be introducing more in the next several months. Okay, so uh, I, I'm curious. Uh, what are some of the most common accessories that you sell with other similar devices like CM50 or MC75. What, what's the most common? Triggered? Are you selling the triggers very often? No? Cigarette lighter, Cigarette lighter adapters, okay. Single slot docks maybe? Yeah, yeah, a lot of single slots. Yeah. Quad chargers, okay. So we've got all that addressed. Um, <clears throat> we also have a larger capacity battery. This is uh, what I'm passing around today is our standard battery, 3,000 milliamps. The big guy is 5,000 milliamps. And, and this is, um, and, and what you'll see is that the size difference isn't all, that, uh, isn't all that great. So the important thing here is your customers can use a larger battery without sac sacrificing ergonomics. Compare that to MC75 when they order the 2X battery that battery sticks down about that much and makes the device difficult to hold. So we're, a, we're able to maintain ergonomics and give customers the maximum battery power to go the maximum amount of time be between shifts. In our tests with the 5,000 milliamp battery, it will go up to 18 hours uh, before needing a recharge. And that is 
scanning every five seconds, transmitting that data to an access point, and the display on full brightness. So 18 hours in a pretty reasonable test is, is uh, how often do your customers ask, how long will the battery last? They ask that all the time. And if they're really concerned and they have to go the longest amount of time, the Datalogic ELF with the 5,000 milliamp battery will give them by far the best performance. One other thing I want to point out, um, actually two things, there is a, a vehicle charger, so secures the, the, the ELF in the vehicle and charges it. But what's really cool is Kim and Blake only need to stock the single slot dock. Do your customers ever ask for modem docks or ethernet docks? You, you'll have those requests from time to time. And a lot of times it's a long lead time for those products. Well, what we do is we have these snap-on modules. Uh, one is ethernet and the other is, is modem. And it snaps on to the single slot dock. So you'll always have the same single slot dock in stock selling with the ELF, and then you know, when, they're, when they need that Ethernet uh, module, boom, you sell that and it just snaps on, it's easy. Makes it also future upgradable. So it's just a really neat uh, common sense kind of feature for the ELF. The ELF, in my opinion, is the easiest rugged PDA to sell. There's only really three questions that you need to be able to answer when selling the ELF, okay? Do you need a cellular radio or not? Yes or no. Which keypad and which scan engine? If you can answer those three questions, you can pick out the right part number and, uh, and chances are it'll be in stock. I'm throwing in a fourth question because it has a lot to do with the pricing and, and customers that aren't in the partner program. Um, maybe we ought to look at, at getting them to, to apply. If they're not a partner, they're gonna get pricing that, that may make us appear to be uh, not competitive with other manufacturers, it's, it's just something that, um, so <clears throat> wanted to, to just spend a, a few minutes just kind of reviewing when is the Alpha a good fit and, and when is it not a good fit. I mentioned earlier the cellular radio. If the customer is really tied to Verizon for some reason, maybe they have existing contracts in place, you know, we're, we're not a good fit. But we are a good fit if the customer is really concerned about maximum battery performance uh, best bang for the buck, maximum ruggedness. Uh, if they're uh, concerned about <clears throat> doing worldwide deployments, uh, Brent had that, uh, that kind of situation recently. They're looking for a worldwide partner, somebody that um, this one particular end user had a plant in France and a plant in Latin America and a plant in the US, and they want the same part numbers, the same service program across the globe, and we can provide that. We are a, a global organization. I want to wrap up uh, with just the, the next couple slides and highlight some of the key features. We talked about the green dot, patented data logic, cool feature, 5,000 milliamp is really important to those customers that are concerned about maximum battery performance. If customers are looking for something that's as rugged as possible because they know their customers are in a harsh environment or they tend to abuse the devices, the data logic elf is definitely uh, the best fit for them. Coprocessor is a cool, unique feature for Datalogic. It really helps Datalogic shine in those mission critical applications. The kitted packaging really helps you sell these products and stock them and, and be very successful with the ELF. The accelerometer really takes application developers to the next level in improving the, the end user's experience. And when you're outside the four walls or, or just being outside in direct sunlight at all, that bright, visible, high contrast display really sets the ELF apart from the competition. That's it. Thanks for uh, coming in and go SEC, all right? Thanks.